Bears, happy April, and welcome to this week's episode of the Berkeley Beat. This week, we'll be covering the major campus strike undertaken by UC Berkeley's graduate student instructors, as well as taking this time to recognize the achievements of the late UC Berkeley professor and structural biologist, Thomas Alber. Also, stay tuned to hear about Koja Kitchen, a fusion cuisine that is bound to satisfy anyone's taste. I'm Gabby Avila. And I'm Roya azar Kavon, and the Berkeley Beat starts now. Last Friday, UC Berkeley lost one of its finest biologists, Thomas Albert, who passed peacefully in his sleep. Thomas Albert was 60 years old and a renowned Berkeley faculty member known for the biochemical and structural solutions he posed towards a number of biological issues. Aside from teaching molecular and cell biology at the university, Albert also served as the Chancellor's Class of 43 Chair, was a founding director for the Henry Wheeler Center for Emerging and Neglected Diseases, and even received the Christian B. Anfinson Award for the Protein Society. This week, students definitely found their fair share of happenings along Sproul. From campaigning for ASUC elections to the GSI strike, there is plenty of action for the typical campus goer to face. That's right, Roya. Earlier this week, UC graduate students and other student workers held a strike. The statewide student worker union UAW Local 2865 participated in a two-day strike against what they alleged to be intimidation of student workers by the university. We want to negotiate and we want to make sure that class sizes are small so we can give the attention that we actually need to our students. So that's one issue is class size. Another each issue is wages. We make thousands of dollars less than other graduate students in equal institutions. And so yeah, we're arguing for wages. We're also arguing for the rights of undocumented students um, to be able to work because there's a lot of undocumented students at the university. UC campuses all throughout the state protested unfair labor practices. The Los Angeles Times reported that early Wednesday morning, 20 undergraduate and graduate students striking at UC Santa Cruz were arrested. However, this did not discourage protesters as they returned to the picket line Thursday. Here at Berkeley, no arrests were made and many joined the picketers on the Sproul Plaza in solidarity. On a lighter note, this week we headed down to Koja Kitchen on Telegraph Avenue to give their unique fusion cuisine a try. Koji Kitchen initially began as a local Berkeley food truck, but recently it managed to settle down in a permanent location neighboring the popular Berkeley ice cream sandwich shop, Cream. Koji Kitchen prides itself on having reinvented Korean Japanese food by offering a variety of meats and veggies sauteed in a blend of sauces and served in your choice of a bowl or in between two brown rice patties. And now it's time for the Berkeley Fun Fact of the Week. Did you know that Oski can no longer flirt with girls? sprawl with the Stanford tree, throw pies at the opposing chancellor, nor can he shimmy up any goalposts. So sorry to break it to you ladies, but Oski is off limits. And that does it for this week's episode of the Berkeley Beat. Make sure to stay tuned with live news updates from our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page.